Hello and welcome to Gfinity. This is the Pro League. We have six of the best and brightest Call of Duty teams from Europe joining us to battle it out for the main prize. I am Brycey and I'm joined by Calvin. Yeah, good morning, Brycey. Yeah, it's going to be a very good set of games. Yep. we got three coming up for you and yep. those teams are going to be duking it out just to get a better league position they so they can win will. the prize and get themselves in the money. They really will. It's going to be tense as we go in in the following couple of weeks, seeing how these teams all stack up against each other. Obviously, this isn't a knockout tournament. It's going to be every team is going to play every other team. So the way to determine the best is simply to get more wins on the boards and beat all your opponents if you can do it. Yeah, that's right. And well, who we got? We got uh, Aware, Vitality. But the first game, we've got TCM versus SK. Epsilon versus Meet Your Makers. And our final game will be Aware Gaming versus Vitality. And who do you think is going to just come on top in some of these matches, Bryce? Well, I don't know. I'm kind of rooting for TCM a lot through this. I mean, they've been a favourite. They just picked up a title last weekend. So, got to say, at Lands, they're certainly the strongest team. However, I think teams like Vitality, very strong as well. SK Gaming, that's going to be a big first game because whoever wins that one could very well go on to win the entire thing. SK and TCM have actually faced off before in our Pro Scrim series. And I believe SK took the last one. Yeah, they did. Oh, it's a t I think it was a 5k yeah, series. Yeah, they, they did the pro scrims. Uh -huh. They ran into them in the 5k, and uh -huh. twice SK have lost to TCM, I believe. So now TCM will be looking to make it a straight free win streak, and we will be going into the first map, which I believe is Domination on Octane. Yeah, let's jump on board. First of all, with the man of the moment, the man is a factor, is it? Of course, Moose, he'll be running that Thermal R5 by the look of it. Let's see how he breaks this one down, first of all. Yeah, we're just going to get on board with Moose. And you'll notice with TCM, they have a nice little tactic, whereas they send two people right, one person should be going through to midpoint and trying to jump on B. And what Moose will do is he'll be there with his thermal and he'll try and overlook him and give him some support. It will just look like a very aggressive start. However, Marky B goes down. Moose gets slapped down as well as SK now take the lead. It does seem like they should be able to lock down that B area. Two of them on it. That should be locked down. And it is SK taking the first lead in points. They do have two. TCM have one on the sticks with Marky B. Now trying to get picked. He gets shut down as well as SK start off strong. Yeah, SK started off really strong here. Looking to establish McDonald's. They've got A and B. We're all on board, but we're But we're just going to jump over to Marky B because it looks like he may just enter into the action soon. But there we go. We've just changed the flux. He's there running a the thermal site as well. Looking to get really aggressive. See someone there who just got shot, but he got tagged it from behind as well. But you know, he just continued running forward. He's just going to rely on his teammates to clean up some kills. And he's looking to just um, zip on over to A. He is Flux now trying to split it here. He has gone towards A. If he can lock this down, he's going to give his team a really good shot of getting the two points. They did try to take B very quickly, but Quickie shut down Gunchy, and it looks like Flux has locked it down to TCM have managed to split. They defend the seaside as well. Moose putting shots down to defend A, and now TCM in a great position. They have actually managed to pull it away from SK. However, Marky B now needs to defend this point. There are two up against him as he goes around the corner. Can he get them? He managed to pick up one. He does, doesn't get the second, though. Yeah, he gets clean. Uh, nice little tactic by SK they split their players on two sides of that point so it would have been like very hard for Marky to get a two piece if they saw him at the same time but we're on board with Flux he's just there with his thermal and he's looking for his first victim and he sees him I believe that's Rox there he gets the first kill oh. he sees the per second person he's in the disadvantage no, action, but don't he does do it. get that the turn on ridiculous. and you just got destroyed quickie absolute annihilation and Flux just slides onto that B point Flux had time to move away pick up another weapon and come back and take him down, meaning all of SK did drop there as Flux picks up a great two-piece. And it does mean TCM now able to take the lead. They now will have two points to SK's one. They're going to be able to get some points on the board. Yeah, TCM are going to be rapidly catching up now. And we've just jumped on with Gunshi. He's uh, having a bit of a stinker there, one and five. But I believe he does have two points to his name. So as you know, domination, you really need to get the caps, get the points. So he's still doing a bit of objective work for his team. Just had an overall day. You would have seen three TCM players to two SK players there. Flux gets the kill onto Quickie. Marky B got a kill of his own onto Rox. But Kibi picks up Marky B as well. And now Flux is going to be looking to try and get C. Yeah, it certainly is. Flux just trying to hold it down. Doesn't manage to, but he does actually manage to neutralize it. Great play by him there. It does mean that TCM are going to be able to take the lead now. And they're still putting the hurt on Gunchy, picking up a kill. And now SK have got the look of breakout and try to come through this TCM team. Quickly putting down kills. He has the thermal. He's going to see two there. Managed to pick up one anyway. Yeah, he did pick up that other person. I thought the way the guy was looking at him, he may have got the kill onto Quickie there, but Quickie did clean him up. And a whole load of kills just went down there. Two SK, two TCM players down. We're on board with Rox. He's running through strip club. Uh, he's been a little bit naughty to his wife, but he's just going to be going forward and trying to get to A. He's done his now. Kevin moving forward. 
What can Kimmy do as we do keep an eye on him? Does rocking the M tar at the moment. He's going to see someone to his right. Going to pick up Gunchy. Takes him down. They're still looking to get back into this SK. They've got to try and get that B point off. Split it for the A. And now Kimmy is going to go down as well. TCM putting a lot of kills on this board. They do seem to be dominating the kill field at the moment. As another kill goes down. All of SK dropping in quick succession there. Back up on board with Mac Millix. Moving forward and it looks like he's in a good position. He's got on the flank of TCM. If he goes for A, he might be able to split it. Yeah, literally TCM wiped out three SK members, pushed up as far as possible. No one's even thinking about going towards the points. And if you look at the map right now, there's two play TCM players jumping on C. There's another TCM player over by A contesting it, oh, and he's just place. won his gunfight there. And it looks like they're going to take over A as well. They've got A. They switched the uh, cap. Got to B. Make this. And makes C, one, and he makes two. That's a nice little play by Gunshi. There gets the one, gets one, gets the second one straight away. Gets him off B, and now it looks like TCM have got the elusive free cap. Trip cap in full effect. Gunchy pulling off a massive two piece to lock down that B point before it went away. SK now able to try and get that C point there. Moose is going to be the man there. Can he pick up two kills? No, he just gets one. But TCM playing out their skin at the moment. And look at that scoreboard, Calvin. 89 of 58. TCM are pulling away. Yeah, it's at 28 seconds left, and it looks like the way TCM are playing right now, they could get themselves within the 100 point mark. I mean, 93 to 60, 20 seconds left, and it's still increasing, and they're looking to try and get themselves onto B. We're on board with Moose and Marky B, who have just jumped onto it. Good shooting by Moose there. He's just hard aiming. Waits for the first guy to jump up, but he doesn't get Matt Millis. He gets taken out, but more importantly, TCM do have B. And it looks like 100 points is on the horizon for them. It's on his now. Flux trying to push forward. Just to get the kill. Doesn't manage to make it. And look at the score. That is a phenomenal advantage for TCM going into the second half. 100 to 64. How on earth are SK going to come back from that? We're going to find out in the second half. And you know what? I'm looking forward to it because TCM, that was some severe domination. Yeah, that's a little bit of an obstacle for T uh, SK there to surmount. It's plus 36. And they're going to really need to step it up here. They really are. So TCM at the moment looking like they are going to be the better team. And I don't know, going into the second half, SK have a mountain to climb. Do you think they can do it, Calvin? Um, yes, but they really need to be aggressive about it. And they need to do to TCM what TCM did to them. They need to uh -huh. really play to their strengths and they need to look for a free cap at least once in this game. And it, will, it will bring up a lot of that deficit down if they can yeah. get their points on the board quickly. Even just getting a two cap and then just neutralising A, yeah. for example, and making sure that TCM don't get any points on the board will help them get back into this and give them some momentum. It most certainly will. Let's have a quick look as we go into the second half of this match. And you know what, TCM, like I said, they are one of the favourites to take this entire Pro League. They have just had a major European win just last week, so... Can they do it again? Can they make another big map? I don't really know. I mean, for me, they're one of the favourites. What about you, Who are you kind of predicting to go through this Pro League? Uh, looking at the teams, I believe it will be between TCM and Vitality right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're showing that they've got their game on point and they can play really well. Uh, it just matters if they can bring the same game that they bought from Lanta Online. As we know, it's a different uh -huh. ball game. Uh, that's what most players say they don't really like online but at the end of the day there's money there so yeah there's certainly there's is money, money to be there made, so these players are battling they for. will they will play out of their skin this tournament or I should say league <laughs> they most certainly will but we're gonna wait for this game just to start back up again here at Gfinity just waiting for it to get going as we're gonna watch the second half of this one and there we go it has finally started TCM currently leading 36 points overall you can't see at the bottom there and let's see how this one goes okay on the sticks first of all with SK Kivy moving forward aggressive start from him yeah Kivy's doing that aggressive start he doesn't get seen by anybody he's run all the way around right right back of the strip club and he is going to be just creeping up on that A point. Well, it looks like he's just going to go middle now, look for a few potential victims along the way. He doesn't see anybody. But there you go, he's travelling towards A. He still hasn't seen anybody. He's just literally run the whole map all the way to TCM Sport and seen nobody. And now he looks like he's just going to cause a bit of a distraction for his um, teammates there. Here he does. He needs to hold on to this one, though. There is a TCM member coming to challenge him. He's right there. Marky B takes him down, securing that point, but nothing happened at B. No one was able to lock it down before they got killed. Marky B keeping an eye on it from the Overwatch. He's running that thermal. LMG. Yeah, he's running that thermal LMG. Big round, big amount of rounds in that clip. He's going to be slower than most, but he, he, what he's meant to do there is just over CB and help his teammate try and catch it. And we're on board with Flutz now. He's using the MTAR, and he gets 
destroyed by Quickie pretty much. Uh, he's uh, Quickie's just sitting around by a gas station to middle, and that oh. was boost that killed him. Oh! oh. Thought Moose was going to pick off a big two piece there, not able to do it. It doesn't look like SK are going to lock this one down. SK taking the first blood in this second half. This is exactly what they need to do. Flux going in to try and neutralize it though. There are several SK players around him. Is he going to get taken down here? He's turning a few shots that does actually get taken. Rock's picking up a two piece to lock it, but it has been neutralized. Yeah, Flux has had that thing where as soon as you turn for a split second, what happens? Player comes around the corner, and in that case, that happened to him. But TCM have got B, so they've got a two cap on the board now. Now, SK need to push out and try and get B in this case, and or even just split the spawns and go to A. They certainly do. And now, jumping on board, we're going to have a quick look. Can they hold this down as we do go on board with Quickie? And they are trying to take A as well. There's one member there, but look at TCM. They're trying to put bodies in that area. It has been neutralized. Quickie now picking up kills as well. Oh, he gets two. All of TCM fall as Rock picks up a two-piece at the same time. SK now going for the trip cap. Can they manage to do it? Somebody's about to come behind Quickie. And he's managed it. It was Mac Millex, and he comes and supports his teammate. However, TCM archering back in kind. They're not an awful lot come of that triple cap. Yeah, not a lot came of it. I mean, SK need to, like, try and... When stuff like this happens, they need to be, like, you know, really prepared to, like, jump on points and try and get them as soon as possible. But it's only five seconds that TCM will be down for, and then they'll be respawning. And uh, we're still on board with McMillix, who is just surveying around. I think he just wants to keep an eye on what they've got so far. They realise they've got a nice little two-cap lead, and they don't want to lose it to TCM, because anything that will give TCM the advantage <laughs> is not good. Nice shooting by TCN there. I believe it's three of SK down and Kivy's just looking for someone that maybe popping by C. He sees Moose, gets the kill, and now he's just going to be trying to take C for his own. Yeah, Rock tries to find someone under the Humvee. Doesn't actually manage to find him pushing forward. Does have a teammate in support. There is actually someone by that white. He does manage to see him, and he has to get that kill. And now look at the way the points are just swapping around. TCM now trying to go for B, but C and A are likely to be in possession of the SK lineup. McMillick supporting his teammate. They're going to lock that down as well and it does mean but TCM are to right back and get on it straight away. Yeah TCM are like a swarm right now. Just You try and take one of their points. They just come at you like bees, sting you to death and then just run away and <laughs> go to the next point and do the same thing. And Moose just got the kill there onto McMillick. So it looks like B is anyone's ball game right now. We're going to see how SK are going to play this. They get two kills, two mid to long range kills there. See the third. It was Gunshi trying to get them off B. But McMillick's has killed Gunshi as well. Oh they see the the fourth Marky B has got the kill there, but there's rocks to clean it up, and it looks like T SK are successfully going to take B. They are at the moment 54 to 44. It does mean SK are in the lead, they're pushing forward as well, holding down B. They are in fact setting up, but TCM splitting once again. Two of their members actually heading towards C at the moment, trying to lock this one. There we go, rocks pushing to put a few in there, and he's just holding it down. He's kind of playing that B sweeping role. Yeah, he's kind of playing that B sweeping role right now. And uh, look what they're doing now, they've got. Uh, B and C, they've realised that TCM are on C now. You just saw that player taking that. So now Ross is going to get really aggressive here. He knows that if C gets taken, they'll be down on caps. So that he's just seen his first victim. They run around. He chased a little bit, but he does get the kill. And now he's going to try and take A here. He is on the sticks with Quickie. What's he going to do? He doesn't see why. He sees two actually. Picks up one. Going to jump around the corner. Can he see the second one? No. His teammate cleans it up. And there is a triple cap in full effect. And within the last 30 seconds, they need to hold this to try and do anything. But TCM taking C straight back as well. 73 to 51. There's a small chance for them to come back. They do have a bit of a lead. But not able to really do anything there in the last dying seconds. And it does mean that it's too little, too late. 77 to 51. Flux holding down the A point. And that is not going to be enough for SK. And first blood the TCM. Yeah, essentially all TCM need to do is just hold their just hold their corners and make sure that SK don't get any more points on the board. And even if it is a point, it just needs to be one. And as you see we've ended, it is eighty to fifty four, so plus twenty six for SK and at the end of the day it just means that TCM have won this series by ten points. It most certainly does. That isn't a massive winning thing, especially considering they were 36 points up, Calvin. You wouldn't expect them to win that one by a little bit more. How SK valiantly tried to come back. Rocks 17 and 8 at the moment. It was Gunji, I think, 19 and 9. Huge kills by both those teams going into that second half. Yeah, it was a big play. Oh, I it mean, certainly was. It was. It was fantastic. But at the end of the it was a high-scoring game of, of uh -huh. domination there. I mean, TCM got... 100 points on one side, SK got 86 points on the other side. So both teams played their domination games well, but TCM just played it that little bit more yeah. better. And now we're going to be going on to S&D, which I believe is on Warhawk. We're just going to just take a little while, wait for the players to just get involved and then go from there. So we will see you guys right after this quick break. <laughs> 